TMJ disorder is diagnosed in a multitude of different ways and I think a patient would find from one practitioner to the next the diagnosis process would vary greatly. In our office, we take a very comprehensive approach and we want to look at the teeth, the jaw muscles, and the jaw joints all at the same time to see if those three things are functioning in a nice, healthy physiologic position and working together in harmony. Um, so one of the very first things that we do if a patient comes in with TMJ disorder is we will take a 3D x-ray that allows us to visualize their jaw joints, their airway, and their teeth. Once we look at that, we can assess bone quality, joint position. We also will do range of motion testing. There are a lot of things in TMJ disorders that if the range of motion of the jaw joint is not within certain parameters, that helps us to make a more specific diagnosis. We will also do muscle testing that allows us to see where any hot spots are, you know, just certain sore areas. And, you know, a lot of patients will have headaches up in this area. They'll have jaw pain and spasms and whatnot. So we're looking at for those things with the muscle palpation. And then we will also do muscle testing. So we will actually measure EMGs of the patient's muscles. There are definitions that allow us to know when a muscle is functioning healthy and when it is not functioning in a healthy manner. And so that muscle testing is what really sets our treatment apart because it gives us a very defined scientific information um, to decide whether or not the patient has healthy jaw function or not.